Greetings everyone, it's Jackie Daly here. And it's been a very long time since I've read a story on flowy stories. So, without any further ado, I am going to read the story of Little Red Hen and the Grains of Wheat. One day, Little Red Hen was walking across the farmyard when she found some grains of wheat. I can plant this wheat, she thought, but I'm going to need some help. Little Red Hen called out to the other animals on the farm. Will anyone help me eat this wheat? Meow, not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Woof, 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 said the dog. I'm too busy. Woof, 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 woof said the goose. I'm too busy. Then I shall do it myself, said the little red hen, and she took the grains of wheat and planted them. The clouds rained and the sun shone, and the wheat grew strong and tall and golden, and one day little red hen saw that the wheat was ripe, and now it was ready to cut. Little Red Hen called out to the other animals. Will anyone help me to cut the wheat? Meow! Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, woof woof, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. Then I shall do it all by myself, said the little red hen. And she took a sickle and cut down all the wheat and then she tied it to a bundle. And there she is cutting it. And then she tied it up and put it on her back. And now the wheat was ready to thresh. Little red hen carried the bundle of wheat back to the farmyard. Little Red Hen called out to the other animals. Will anyone help me thresh the wheat? Meow! Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Woof, 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 said the dog. I'm too busy. Goo, 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 goo. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. What are they busy doing? They're just playing. <laughs> Then I shall do it all by myself, said the little red hen. She threshed the wheat all day long. And when she had finished, she put it into her cart. Now the wheat was ready to grind into flour, but little red hen was very tired. And so she went to the barn where she soon fell fast asleep. The next morning, Little Red Hen called out to the other animals. Will anyone help me take the wheat to the mill? Meow! Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. There they are, still busy playing. Not very helpful, is it? Oh dear, then I shall go all by myself, said Little Red Hen. And she pulled her cart full of wheat and wheeled it all the way to the mill. The miller took the wheat and ground it into flour. And now it was ready to make a loaf of bread. Little Red Hen called out to the other animals. Will anyone help me take this flour to the baker? Not I, said the cat. I'm too busy. Not I, said the dog. I'm too busy. Not I, said the goose. I'm too busy. Then I shall go all by myself, said the little red hen. And she took the very heavy sack 
of flour all the way to the bakery. And the baker took the flour and he added some yeast, water, sugar and salt. He put the dough in the oven and baked it. And when the bread was ready, he gave it to the little red hen. Little Red Hen carried the freshly baked bread all the way back to the farmyard. Little Red Hen called out to the other animals, Will anyone help me eat this tasty fresh bread? Oh, I will, said the dog, I'm not busy. <laughs> I will, said the goose, I'm not busy. Meow, meow, I will, said the cat, I'm not busy. Hmm. I think I'll have to think about that one, said the little red hen. Hmm. The little red hen thought, and she invited the miller and the baker to share her delicious bread, while the three other animals all looked on. You think they were very happy that they didn't get any bread? Do you think the miller and the baker deserved to get the bread? Was Little Red Hen right not to give these three animals any of her bread? They didn't help, did they? No, they didn't. There you go. Well, you know, it does pay to be helpful. And I'm just wondering, how are you helping around your home? I think it's a good idea that you really, really, really be kind and help out. Whenever, whenever somebody asks for help, it's a lovely thing to say yes. Okay, everybody, that's it. I am going and I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Please like and share this video.